in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Abdul Hisalihin. Greetings to all the Muslims listening. And welcome to the Christians, Jews, and even atheists who might be out there. I wanted to ask a few questions about Israel because America has changed since I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was okay to be inquisitive. It was okay to ask questions. But now you cannot ask questions. You can't ask questions about homosexuals. Don't question them. You're a homophobe. If you question them, you are a homophobe. Don't ask questions about Israel. You ask questions about Israel, you're anti-Semitic. Now, some people would say that if you question Islam, then you're an Islamophobe. I welcome questions about Islam because I've been in this religion 30 years almost. And if somebody asks me a question that I, don't, I do not know and I don't know at all, of course I do not know at all. I like digging. And there has not been one question so far that has been asked to me about Islam that I have not been able to eventually answer. It has rooted me in this religion by being questioned. People who don't like questions are usually people who cannot academically defend their belief. Zionists. I have nothing against Jews, Zionists, Theodore Herschel, Zionists, the people who founded Israel. One of them, his name was Damon, I forget his uh, first name. Zionists, atheists, claimed from a religious standpoint that Israel was their holy land. And there is no documentation that I know of, of the uh, homeland of the Yahudi or the, Gi or the Zionists, the Jew, the Yahudi. There is no evidence that Israel is their homeland except biblical evidence. Yet America and Europe robbed the Palestinians and gave the Jews their so-called homeland back. As opposed to the black man who through blood, sweat, and tears slaved, li literally slaved in this country. And we got nothing, okay? What they did is the equivalent of African Americans wanting to go back to Africa and taking the African land away from the African and saying, this is ours. That's what they did in uh, Liberia. That was also wrong. But going back to my point, the only evidence that Israel is the homeland of the Jew is biblical evidence. Yet, the people who founded Israel, Theodore Herzl, was an atheist. Damon was an atheist. How can you have stolen the land of the Palestinian on a religious premise presented by people who did not believe in religion? I'm asking this because I want you to explain it to me like I'm five years old. I want you to explain it to me, make me understand. How can a country like America that has a separation of church and state, if these people did have legal grounds to claim Israel religiously, why is it America that has a separation of church and state recognize Israel on a religious basis. It's a no-win situation. I could ask several questions, like how did an American citizen, like Rachel Corey, 
be slaughtered? How could she be slaughtered in Israel? And America do nothing. I could ask questions about the bombing of the USS Liberty. I could do that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask those questions. I could ask questions about the Al Jazeera journalist. Serene Abu Akli, I believe what's her name. She was a Christian. You know, the one that was shot in the head. And America, the defender of women's rights, did what? Nothing. Israel. That's what they call it, Israel. It's not real. It is unreal. It is unreal the atrocities that happened to Jews in Germany. It was unjust. Just as it was unjust, the apartheid that the Boers, or Boers, whatever you, however you say it, the Boers, the apartheid they inflicted upon the South African, it was unjust. And the apartheid and oppression that's being inflicted upon my Palestinian brothers, it is unjust. And I am an African American. I know injustice. I know injustice. Firsthand, my people know injustice. You can talk to the families of George Floyd. They can tell you about injustice. You can talk to the family of Philando Castile and they can tell you about injustice. You can talk to the family of Ariana Stanley Jones, who was shot in the head at nine years old by a policeman who suffered no consequences in her family, can tell you about injustice. You can talk to the family of Walter Scott, who was killed by a South Carolina policeman who didn't try to plant a gun on him. His family can tell you about injustice. You can talk to the family of, of uh, the brother, Oscar Grant, I believe was his name, who was killed at Fruitvale Station. They can tell you about injustice. They can tell you about injustice. You can talk to Sean Bell, who was killed by a policeman as he was coming back from his wedding, still in his tuxedo, bride beside him, still in her wedding dress, who were killed, shot until the clips of the government issued police weapons were empty. And they can tell you about injustice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as wa jal, he is, he is adul. He is the most fair of those who show fairness. This life is a test. On the day of judgment, how are they going to test? How is Allah going to judge rather the people who took the side of the oppressor in South Africa, the oppressor in America, the oppressor in Israel. That's all I'm asking. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.